Welcome to today's problem solver, problem solver 39. Our strategy today is use logical reasoning. So let's take a look at our question. Five cousins are camping together in the mountains. Two of the cousins are Pattersons and three are Andersons. Two of them are from Montana and three are from Wyoming. Irene and Yvonne are from the same state. Michael and Emily are from different states. Leo and Michael have the same last name. Emily and Yvonne do not have the same last name. The Patterson from Montana awakes in the middle of the night to discover a raccoon rummaging through the food pack. What is that cousin's name? All right, well, the first thing I'm going to do, and I've already done it because my handwriting's terrible, is rewrite my question as a sentence. So I've written, the cousin who discovered the raccoon was blank. And now all I have to do is fill in the name when I figure out who it is. So let's take a look at the clues. Five cousins are camping together in the mountains. Two of the cousins are Pattersons. Well, luckily, the problem has already set up a one and a two here. So I know that I have two Pattersons. And three are Andersons. I've got my one, two, three here, because I know I'm going to have three Andersons. Two of them are from Montana. Right, I'm going to set up my Montana and my Wyoming the same way. So I'm going to say one, two for Montana. And three are from Wyoming, so I'm going to do one, two, Three, so I've got my placeholders and I know I'm going to have two people from Montana and three people from Wyoming. All right, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. Irene and Yvonne are from the same state. Hmm, I don't know exactly where to put them yet, so let me look at the next clue. Michael and Emily are from different states. All right, so I know I need to put Michael and Emily, they're from different states. So I'm going to do uh, Michael slash Emily here and a Michael slash Emily here. That way when I figure out who's in which state, I can cross off the other person. Because I know one is going to have to be in Montana and one's going to have to be in Wyoming from their, because they're from different states. Well now, if I know Irene and Yvonne are from the same state, the only place that they'll fit is where there are two placeholders, which is Wyoming. Because there's only one other person from Montana, so I'm going to put Irene and Yvonne here. Sweet. And who is my other person? Oh, I see I've got a Leo here, so I'm going to add Leo. He must be here. This is the only place left for him. All right. So I pretty much have set out who's from which state. Let me look at my next clue. Leo and Michael have the same last name. Okay. Again, I'm not really sure which side to put them on yet, but I'll get there. Emily and Yvonne do not have the same last name. Well, the problem has very nicely already set up like I did for this uh, states, they put Emily and Yvonne here and Emily and Yvonne here because I know one has to go in the Pattersons and one has to go to the Andersons and I just don't know which yet. So I'll put them there and then when I figure it out I can cross off the wrong person and circle the right person. So if Leo, I go back to my old clue and I see that Leo and Michael have the same last name, I know that the only place Leo and Michael are going to fit is in the Andersons. So that's the only place I have two more spots. So I've got Leo and Michael here. which means in my empty spot, I've got to include my last person, which looks like it is, I've got Emily, Yvonne, Leo, Michael, Irene is left. So I'm going to put Irene over here in the Pattersons. All right, now i got to look at what my question is asking, because I'm not sure I can totally figure out whether Emily or Yvonne is in Anderson, or Michael or Emily is from Montana or Wyoming. So let me look at what the question is asking. The Patterson from Montana awakes in the middle of the night. All right, I'm going to circle. I want a Patterson, so I'm going to circle this, and I want someone from Montana, so I'm going to circle this. So I know my person has got to fit in both of those categories. Is there anybody who's in both of those categories? Oh, sweet! Emily is here in the Pattersons, and Emily is here in Montana, so my answer must be Emily. So for my uh, response, I'm going to say the cousin who discovered the raccoon was Emily Patterson. And that is problem solver 39 using logical reasoning.